Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about uh, converting a mole ratio to a mass ratio. And uh, everyone always asks, mole ratio is equivalent to the volume ratio if you assume that the gases are uh, follow the ideal gas law, so if you're, which is a pretty reasonable assumption, everybody seems to do it. So if we look at an example, we can talk about methane. If we look at our reactants, we can have a stoichiometric methane reaction will be CH4 plus 2 O2 plus 3.76 N2, and that's going to go to CO2 plus 2 H2O plus uh, 2 times 3.76 N2. Um, okay, so if we look at our, our we'll call it a fuel to air ratio, we're going to go fuel to air. Uh, you can either talk about an air to fuel ratio or fuel to air, ra air ratio that they're just the in inverse of the other. So on another video I talk about an air to fuel ratio, calculating that. So if you just take one over whatever that number is, you can get the fuel air ratio. So we can calculate the fuel air ratio is equal to uh, the number of moles of fuel divided by the number of moles of air. So that's pretty straightforward, right? So in this case, we have one mole of CH4. So we just have one divided by two times one mole of oxygen plus 3.76 moles of nitrogen. And so this is equal to 0 0.105. Work that out. So this is our mole ratio. If we want to convert that to a mass ratio, so this would be a fuel over air. Let's call this one mole and this one mass. We can take our fuel over air mole ratio, mole ratio and multiply it by the molecular weight of the fuel divided by the molecular weight of the air. Does that look like a W? All right. So in our case, we can say we know this is 0 0.105 is our mole ratio. And we can look at our molecular weight of methane as CH4. So that's 12 plus 4. Molecular weight of carbon is 12 grams per mole. And molecular weight of hydrogen is 1 gram per mole. And then for the air, we're going to go 2 times two atoms of oxygen times 16 plus 3.76 times 2 times 14. And if we work that out, uh, then we get 0 0.00612. So this would be our, our fuel to air mass ratio. So this is how you can convert a, a, a mole ratio to a mass ratio. I hope you found this useful and have a good day.